I do not believe that a person's life is of no value because of some negative event that happened to them. And so there are four affirmations that I repeat to myself every day. In fact, I've gotten to the point that I don't even have to say them. I just think them because it's such a habit. It's in my subconscious. And I want to share them with you today. Number one, you have to tell yourself that I am not a victim. Okay, so what happened to you can't define who you are going to be. And this is hard to do. That's why I do advocate going to a counselor. I went to a counselor. Because a counselor would deal with those issues that happened to you in the past. I'm a coach. I'm going to inspire you and motivate you and proactively help you to see that you have something in you so that you can move forward. You can't let whatever happened to you stop you from being the person that you were meant to be because that's outside of you. But what's inside of you is greater than that. Yes, it may have put you on pause, but it can't stop your greatness because your greatness is never defined by what's outside of you. That's my first affirmation. I tell myself this every day. I'm not a victim. And even if someone treats me wrongly, which this still happens, right? Life is not fair. I tell myself I'm not a victim. The second thing I tell myself is that I will forgive. See, unforgiveness is a disease, I believe. <laughs> People mistake the power of forgiveness as being weakness. Forgiveness breaks the pain that happened to you in the past, right? Because it's in the past. But when people are unforgiving, they are literally living the pain again. Let me tell you this story that a caseworker told me about a person who hated their father. Now I can relate to this because my father has never been in my life, but I can't say I hate my father. I just had some negative thoughts towards him, but then I got over it. I forgave him. But this person did not forgive their father. In fact, I believe the caseworker told me that on their dead father's birthday, let me repeat myself, their father was dead on his birthday. They would literally go to the tombstone and urinate on it consistently. Now you're talking about a person in pain. The simple thing to do is just forgive him. He's dead. There's nothing he can do to you anymore. And that's what unforgiveness would do. It would bring dead things to life and keep you in this cycle of pain. Who wants to live like that? So you have to say, I will forgive. That is my power to overcome the pain that's preventing me from being the person that I'm meant to be. The third thing that you must focus on is saying, you know what? I will fail forward. Okay, see, sometimes we look at failure as defeat. It's not, it's progress. People who don't do anything, lazy people, they don't fail because they don't attempt anything in life. And so every failure is an experiment. It's a measurement of your belief in yourself that you have something great and you gotta try something new. See, all learning starts out slow, which tells you that there are gonna be times that you have gaps in your experience. And so you're not going to execute flawlessly because that's what we're really designed. We believe that perfection equals excellence, but no, diligence equals excellence. Diligence, faithfulness, consistency is ex excellence. And as you go, you grow. So if you fail, that means you're moving, okay? And the last thing I wanna share with you is that you can't say to yourself, well, I've never done this before, so it's not going to turn out well, so I'm not going to attempt anything. Well, listen, <laughs> some people are failures because they don't try anything. That's a, what a failure is. A person who never starts, who never gets up, who never takes the walk of faith. You have to try new things every day. In fact, when you try something new, your brain rewards you and expands the connections so that you can keep growing. And so you need to look at yourself as being brand new every single day and do something to reflect your newness of opportunity. That's what it means to, 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 to be blessed with life every day because today is the opportunity to do something you have never done.